Clinton here from the Comedy Forecast podcast, congratulating you on your obvious good taste. After all, you're listening to the Mutual Audio Network. Well done. The following audio drama is rated PG for parental guidance. Comedy Forecast is the official podcast of Dad Jokes. Dad Jokes! We weren't their official sponsor at first, but that's because we prefer playing shortstop. Dad Jokes. The Comedy Forecast Network. Let's dog ear this for now. This is Comedy Forecast, episode 729, Supply Change Issues, brought to you by the Comedy Forecast patrons. Thank you. And we still haven't heard back from the Middling Fair Supermarket and Hamster Dry Cleaning Service about military discounts on Pringles, even though I told them you just can't stop And that's my status report, sir. Soldier, all I asked was, what time is it? Oh, sorry, sir. I don't wear a watch. (sighs) Fine. Then give me an update on your repairs to the crawler. That bus has been stuck down in those tunnels since last April. I finally watched enough YouTube videos to start repairs on Princess. I hope you like that update, sir. Be sure to smash the subscribe button And click the notify bell. What? There's just one problem, sir. The solar battery's on top of the bus. It's a little hard to charge them since Princess is underground. Fire up the diesel engine and drive it out. In fact, drive it back here to the base to work on it. I would, sir, except I kind of have the engine uh, a little bit disassembled right now. All right. Then plug it into the tunnel's power grid and charge it up that way. Great idea, sir. In fact, I was just talking with Cindy the last time I was down there. On government time, soldier? Uh, No, sir. After work. Since Princess is sitting right outside Cindy's office, we were talking about ways to put the bus to good use down there. You're pretty fond of that bus, aren't you? I know, it reminds you of the one your family used to have. But, soldier, you have to... You and I are both here. So who can that be? Come in. Excuse me, sir. I was hoping someone could direct me. I'm looking for HQ here at Camp Parmenter. So far, I've only been able to locate this office and one barracks. That is, I mean, this is Camp Parmenter. Oh, I'm supposed to report to a general... This must be a typo. It says Calamity, but it is spelled with a K. Brigadier General K. Winston Calamity. And who the heck are you, soldier? Captain Cliff Bruja, General Sir. That's some hat you have there, sir. This hat, as you call it, is part of my uniform, soldier. I'm leading a brand new lean operational detachment alpha unit, codenamed the Magenta Fedoras. Oh, like a really loud version of the Green Berets. Soldier, you have your marching orders on repairs. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Hang on, Princess. We're going to get you up and running in no time flat. What an odd duck. Sir, I am here on orders from General Disarray. That old windbag. Oh, sorry. He's actually not that old. Yes, sir. He received what he described as your rather colorful communique dated March 27 of last year, complaining about failed delivery of your custom order assault vehicle, which you had designated Calamity's Rugged All-Terrain Logistics Rig, a.k.a. The Crawler. Awesome name, sir. Ha ah, ha, very amusing, Captain. Sir? We got delivery of a vehicle last year. And do you know what it was? A modified 1976 Tierra Mega Coach Triaxle school bus. A school bus! And it was labeled Calamity's Ridiculously Unrealistic Land Rover, a.k.a. The Crawler. Yes, sir. According to the General, that was a unit quickly assembled to serve your basic needs until the Crawler arrived. Uh-huh. And when will that be? Right now, sir. Bring the unit around, Chief. Yes, sir. Okay, Ten Toes, time to stop drifting. The captain says we need to drop this thing off. Ah, just five more minutes? With your permission, sir, might I suggest we go outside so I can officially transfer the vehicle to Camp Parmenter? Uh, yeah, sure. 
Where is it? Where is it? Here it comes now, sir. It's beautiful. Captain, Tentos wants to know if he can drive it around the base one more time. Negative. Tell him that is enough for now. Tentos? One of my team. It's his nickname. How did he get it? He has ten toes. General, I will leave you to acquaint yourself with everything the crawler has to offer. And if you have any questions at all, just let me know. Roger that. I'll have my man look at it the second he gets back. No need to rush. We'll be around. What do you mean? In addition to transferring the crawler to your command, we are also charged with decommissioning the crawler. Decommissioning? Yes, sir. We need to strip all the classified tech off the crawler. Night vision windows, lasers, everything. But I never got a chance to use the lasers. Sorry, sir, but I hope we can count on your cooperation while we completely gut the bus. Oh, yes, my cooperation, of course. I'm just not sure how someone else is going to react to all this. It's the Basically Podcast Show. With your host, Lenny Treetop. Brought to you by Little Wicker Baskets. They're everywhere. And now, here's your host, Lenny. Hi, this is Lenny. And basically, this is episode... Dentist. I think I'm going to start naming my episodes after appointments on my calendar. And basically, this is my show. Except now it's underground. But not underground like underground. But basically, underground. Like whatever. Basically, yeah. And basically, this is my downstairs neighbor, Cindy... And she's underground, too. Because, basically, she owns these tunnels. Like they were given to me by Romeo Sykes and the Badger people. You can't really, like, own ground. Basically, that's deep. Like the tunnels. That's the name I came up with for the tunnels. The Tunnels. Like what? Basically, it's just like saying the tunnels, but with capital T's. Basically, there's that noise again. Are the tunnels with capital T's haunted? And can you basically get a ghost to come onto my show? Like, no, Lenny. Those aren't ghosts. The military-industrial complex has arrived. People in weird hats are pulling all the cool stuff off Princess. Basically, that's not cool. But basically, I'd better let the other artists in the tunnels with capital T's know what's happening. Like, wait, what other artists? Basically... Since there's so much room in the tunnels, I invited a few of my creative friends to set up their own studios. Like, that's cool. Like, how many? Basically, let me think. Basically, there's Goggles, and Raphael, and Patty. And basically about 50 other people. Like, 50? How come I never see them? Basically, they aren't down at this end of the tunnels. Like you should have. Like told me, Lenny. But basically you said you didn't own the tunnels, even without capital T's. Like I'm not sure how everything works down here. Basically it's easy. Those purple spheres glow and they make music. And basically, we have all the electricity and water we need. Like, I found out there are mocha-colored spheres down here. 
they like suck up power and then put it into the grid here in the tunnels. Basically, that rocks. Like, maybe. Romeo left me his books all about the spheres, but it's like a lot to read. Basically, you should hurry, because basically, this place is going to fill up fast. Like, I think I'm going to need some help. Can I count on you? Basically, no. Like, Nomad451 just sent you an instant message. No, it's, like, for me. They said, I told someone you needed help. They should be there any second. Basically, that's cool. (laughs) Hi, Danny Hillcrest here. Like... Definitely not cool. RSS rules! In this episode, the parts of Cindy and Chief were played by Bonnie Kenderdine. The part of the soldier was played by Craig Stepp of the Technorama podcast, chuckchat.com slash technorama, and the Topic is Trek podcast, thetopicistrek.com. And Ten Toes was played by Paul Barry of the Window to the Magic podcast, windowtothemagic.com. Additional voices, as well as story and music, by Clinton Alvord. Copyright 2022. All rights reserved. My goodness, look at the time. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Oh, right you are, Sir Patrick. But first, a shout-out to the Comedy Forecast patrons. Thanks to Stan, Zach, Charlotte... Barry, Amy, Howard, Mike, Steve, Bryn, Chuck, Paul, and Kyle. And if you would also like to support the show and get episodes before everyone else, just go to patreon.com and look for Comedy Forecast. All one word with the number four. As always, this is Sir Patrick Stewart. And I'm Clinton. Saying, that's that's it. it. We're We're done, 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 done. done. Bye-bye.